I'm starting the session now. This is Dr. Swati Mishra from International School of Business Management at Suresh Gyan Vihar University, Jaipur. And we have covered the introductory part of project management. And uh, the first unit has been concluded in the previous session. And today we are starting up with a fresh new unit which is the second unit and there will be multiple topics under the second unit that we will be covering. And uh, this session is also dedicated to the one of the uh, topics in the second unit of project management. So we shall begin with discussing the idea generation and screening. You know, so whenever I talk about, uh, you know, idea generation, I always have a small exercise for the students to have a clear understanding of, uh, you know, idea generation. And, uh, you know, when I start discussing the deeper details of idea generation part, I would also request you to keep, you know, having a brainstorming in your mind so that you can also think over developing some good idea of a project to be undertaken by yourself because as a part of the GA of uh, project management, I will definitely ask you to do some pilot project of which you can submit the report and uh, on the basis of that we will be actually, uh, I, I will be awarding you the marks for the graded assignments. So this is the second unit of project management and uh, you know, the first topic, as I said, we'll be taking up as the idea generation and screening. So, you know, why I have told you about the graded assignments that I will be giving you, the reason is that you should be able to, you know, start drawing a sketch in your mind from now onwards and start generating your own ideas of some good projects to be undertaken by you for completion uh, gradually as you proceed with the studies of project management subject. So what is idea generation and what is idea generation screening? Could anybody tell me what is idea generation? Is there any student who would like to answer as to what is idea generation? What do you understand out of this topic, idea generation? And does the idea generation ref, uh, refers to that uh, a particular idea on which we can work around or a particular project idea we, in which we can brainstorm and add, uh, made that idea into an uh, actual project which can be re realized and can uh, actually uh, benefit the company or us in a, some, some kind of way. I'll take it as an answer. Yes, uh, idea generation in itself is a new creative concept that you come up with. But how that idea comes, you know, it is always, you know, when we are looking for some solutions to some problems in the existing society, or maybe you just uh, come across a problem and uh, you find that, okay, this is one problem which is existing in the society and we need to look for a solution to it, right? So be it any project, it is in one way or the other, you know, finding a solution to a problem. If there is a problem of huge traffic jam in any particular city, the idea of having a flyover over the roads come up, comes up so that the connectivity from one part of, uh, of the city to the other part of the city becomes very easier and the traffic can be you know diverted into two parts one which is directly interested in moving some uh, to some other part of the city over the flyover and some which are actually interested in commuting within that small area which lies under the flyover right so the one who is not interested in moving in that area which is lying under the flyover can actually choose to move on the flyover and uh, as we 
all know that uh, you know Gangar University is located in Jaipur, and Jaipur is a city where you can find lots of flyovers. And that is why, even if the traffic is increasing day by day, we have mostly found very smooth flow of traffic on the main roads during the peak hours of uh, commutations. Uh, during the peak office hours of commutations, like in the morning hours and in the evening hours, we mostly find that there is a constant and uh, consistent flow of traffic, which is there in uh, Jaipur city. It is, you know, thanks to the flyovers that we have here. And same is the case with multiple other metro cities where, you know, such ideas have come up. So be it any project. It could be the, another project like metro railways, which have come up in multiple metro cities. The idea was to improve the connectivity and uh, give a good commutation solution to the, you know, people who commute daily from one part of the city to other part of the city, especially in the cities where distances are very huge. Uh, even the Mumbai railways is one such example. The metros, uh, metro railway stations in multiple cities, it is now there in Jaipur also is one such example. So any such project that comes up is actually giving a solution to some problem which is existing in the society. Now to come up with that solution that to the problems that are existing in the society, it is far more important for us to, you know, first of all, uh, generate an idea right so what is this idea generation like if you people are sitting here in my session and i force you to come up with an idea you know that okay you have next 30 minutes and i am asking you i am giving you a societal problem and you come out with a solution to it maybe that won't be you know the correct type of uh, you know approach to idea generation many a times you know when freelancers are moving here and there and they just find some problem and they come up with a solution that is how ideas are generated but what do you say when an organization actually wants to come up with an idea right so they invite ideas from their employees from the experts that are there in their uh, expert domains that are having licensings with the organizations for these ideas. There are some creative hubs and organizations wherein you can post your ideas and uh, you can actually, when those ideas become commercial, they pay you for it. Same is the case when you are trying to get patents or IPRs, you know, intellectual property rights. Say so you come up with an idea and you file a patent for it at the Indian Patents Office. If you are talking in Indian terms, it's there. These type of facilities to protect your intellectual properties are there in foreign countries also. So what happens is that you just file the patent and your, pat your, you know, your idea get register gets registered on your name and you get a certificate for it, right? So, which means that you carry a certificate that this idea is your intellectual property right because you were the first one to come up with it and get it filed at the Patent Office of India and your it is now registered in your name. So now you can actually go and, you know, commercialize your idea, sell it to any organization which can actually use it, commercialize it, and benefit out of it and you can do it for free you can do it on chargeable basis the way you want that organization will be ready to pay you for that similarly in some cases when organizations really want some good ideas to be generated by their employees a lot of good organizations have separate uh, research and development departments and what is the role of these research and development departments? You know, the R&D wings. Uh, I think uh, someone just raised his hand. 
So the one who has joined with the name of Cybertron he has just raised his hand. Do you want to answer to my question? That what is the role of research and development here? And if not him, maybe anybody else? Okay. So if nobody is ready to answer, obviously it is going to be me. So as I said, that most of the good organizations or the very well-developed organizations which are slowly becoming big conglomerates, big business conglomerates, they always have good R&D wings. And these research and development wings are doing tremendous amount of research for these organizations to come up with some good new ideas of developing some good projects for these organizations. Sometimes they come up with new type of ideas in delivering some more valuable services to the people. Sometimes they come up with a good idea of delivering some good product to the people. And sometimes they just come up with an idea which can be used with, uh, you know, by others. Sometimes they just come up with a new idea of marketing them. So there could be multiple different sources of ideas, as I have just jotted down for you people. And these sources of ideas actually help in, you know, generating the ideas for the organization. Sometimes it might happen that there may be a group of experts which might sit together with a problem in mind and they might do brainstorming sessions for maybe one entire week or maybe a couple of weeks and finally reach to a conclusion wherein they can actually give them uh, give the organization a solution that this is the project with which we can come up and uh, you know this project can you know obviously lead to uh, great optimizations for us great profitable benefits for us and of course uh, you know they have to look for the societal benefit also at a large so what i mean is that you have to understand that idea generation is a very integral part of the initiation of a project so whenever an organization wants to initiate a project, the first and the foremost task that lies in its hands is to generate an idea. Right. So I just told you that that this idea can be generated by anybody. It could be a general public which is just, uh, you know, posting ideas on invitations by the organization. Sometimes, you know, it happens that the organizations come up with uh, some good competitions for the general public to participate in, in which they give, him, give them some circumstances and they are made to, you know, reply on them. There was an ad which was generated by, I think, some mint chewable gum company mint or something. I'll find it out in details for you. Just happened to slip it out of my mind. And that company had actually, uh, you know, aired on social media a part of an ad commercial which was created by them. And they ran a contest within which they asked the general public to complete the second half of that advertisement, <coughs> showcasing their own creativity. Now, the question here is to understand, okay, that what was the idea? The idea was not to collect the ideas of completing the advertisement. They did not actually want the want to air an advertisement which was completed by some general public. But the idea was to come up with a project of engaging maximum viewers in that advertisement because people will view that advertisement multiple times. People will try to finish that advertisement with their own creativity, write down the script, 
or maybe just enact that script and create a video recording of the same and post it on the company's website and so much of engagement is going to happen like if i am creating an ad film or maybe one of the students is creating that ad film for that particular brand he can tell his 50 other friends in the same class to you know participate in that competition and what is happening not only is the engagement created directly by the company but a lot of word of mouth is helping the organization achieve immense amount of engagement for them so that is a project idea the idea was to come up with an ad film showcase only half of the ad film and ask the general public to complete it and achieve a lot of engagement are you understanding what is the idea please raise your hands all of you if you are understand that i can find out whether you are with me in the session or not so moving ahead the second thing that i wanted to you know tell you about was idea screening so what is this idea screening you know when you have when you are actually asking your employees or maybe general public to reply to your queries or maybe come up with some good ideas and the general public is generating those ideas for you people so that you can actually use them in your organization on a commercial basis then you know you have multiple ideas with you people but of course an organization cannot work on all of those ideas all together and for that matter what is important is to screen those ideas and this screening my friend is nothing but you know finding out which advertisements are most suited i mean which projects are most which project ideas are more suited for our organization which projects are going to prove to be more fruitful which projects are going to prove to be more uh, more, more prove to give more optimizing results to the organization and then once a collection of those screened out uh, projects is there by sorting out the project which you find may be obsolete or irrelevant or maybe unworkable there could be multiple projects which are uh, you know maybe going beyond the budgets of the organization sometimes it might happen that the uh, project ideas were uh, so difficult to be implemented that they were totally unworkable in the current circumstances or in the current situations so there could be multiple ideas which an organization is having after the idea generation process but they have to be screened out and only the relevant suitable and workable ideas are uh you know actually left after screening and once you are left with maybe 5 or 10 good ideas which are really very quality ideas and if only 10 ideas were created then maybe you are left with may only uh 2 to 3 ideas which are really found to be very effective very uh you know implementable and uh, workable and fruitful for the organization those ideas are then you know actually given a body and then final rating and listings are created as to which idea is more suitable of course there are committees which actually work upon this final selection of the ideas committees which have the employees of the organization which are members from the board of directors of the organization sometimes the you know management of the department is uh, of the organization is there there are outside industrial experts sometimes some academicians are also involved 
sometimes some regulatory uh, representatives of some regulatory bodies and uh, you know non government organizations who can be uh, you know a very important stakeholders in the project you know all these members are actually brought together and they are go they are asked to review those project ideas which have been already screened out and a final rating is given to this these ideas and once the final rating is given to these ideas the best and the most suitable uh project which has got the highest rating from the committee members after the stakeholders have actually rated it or given a feedback upon so that best idea is later on taken into account and is actually worked upon so this is an introduction to idea generation and screening that i wanted to give to you people so with this we will move ahead with the session now as i said idea generation you know or creating an outline of the project you know wherein you have to give general comments on the you know interview protocols there could be uh, multiple sources of ideas idea generation can move through multiple phase phases of idea generation and you also have to understand that what are the skills that are required to actually generate these ideas i mean like how many of you must have i mean almost all of you must have traveled on roads uh, through buses or maybe cars two wheelers on a long road journey uh, from one city to the other and of course in trains also so i don't think there should be a single viewer of this video who would say that i don't know what a tunnel is i hope all of you have seen and gone through a tunnel multiple times a tunnel is of course a way which is created through a mountain so that whenever you have to travel you don't have to go all the way up the mountain or down the mountain to cross that big mountain that lies between two cities that is why a tunnel way is created through it have you ever given it the thought that what a brilliant idea it is so the first tunnel that was created in india was you know the idea was uh, given to an east india company guy by a shepherd who said that why don't you cut a way through a mountain if you actually have to cross the mountain some people laughed on him and some people just made fun of him but when the idea was actually brought into action and workable and implemented and then the tunnel way was created you know that shepherd statue still lies in front of the first tunnel that was created in india so there could be multiple ideas which are generated and um, i don't say that skills are not needed to generate those ideas of course that guy who suggested creating a tunnel or any other guy who create suggest creating a tunnel had the idea that you know the mountain that is there is a single rock and actually something can be cut through it and while the tunnel is getting dug there would be no sliding of the platform on the heads of the people who are walking inside it i think most of you must be knowing about elora caves ajanta and elora caves 
they are in Maharashtra. For those who have actually gone to these places, and even if you're not gone, there are multiple videos which are available on YouTube. You can see them and find out about them. I have actually been there multiple times because I belong to Maharashtra and I live in Ahmednagar, which is quite near to those places. So I have visited these places multiple times. And they are really a marvel to see because they were created long, long time back when there were no motors, electronic instruments to cut the rocks. The engineering and the architecture was not supported by latest technologies that we have today. But just imagine that the engineering at those times was so well developed that those their, their architects could actually find out that the rock that, you know, they are made up of a single rock mountain. So they had such good engineering skills that time that they could actually generate the idea of cutting one single rock piece and creating such huge, you know, they were actually the temples. They look like caves, but they were temples at that time, beautiful, enormous temples at that time. And they, they came up with this project ideas to create those uh, temples with beautiful, enormous, giant size uh, statues of Indian gods and goddesses and Buddhism. Uh, Lord Buddha statues are also there. And they came up with these ideas at that time, almost in the medieval ages and before that, pre-medieval ages. And that is, you know, a project. It is such a huge project if you see it. So, you know, project ideas require a lot of skills and experience. And of course, they were, multi they were extremely well-skilled laborers at that time who could operate and function without the latest technology that we have right now. We can't even think of creating a building without crushers, without cement, without uh, good equipments for construction. And that time they did not have anything. They had some man-made tools which were used to produce, uh, yeah, I mean, to uh, dig those caves and uh, create sculptures there, carve out the sculptures and the statues over there. And the work, if you see on the walls of those temples, is so fine. You know, it's unbelievably beautiful. So they had skills, they had experience, they had knowledge about engineering. And that is why, you know, skills are needed to generate good ideas for projects. And a framework is required to think about those ideas. Even in today's time, I'm not talking, I'm not taking you and making you stay in those medieval eras or pre-medieval eras. But even today, when you want to come up with a new idea or new entrepreneurship idea, you need to have some kind of skills and experience, right? To actually think over the facts, whether the ideas that you are coming up with are workable or not. So obviously, every type of idea generation requires a framework to think about for coming up with good new entrepreneurial ideas. There have to be some toolkits to work upon them to come up with the ideas. There are feedbacks which are given, which are mostly the questions, uh, you know, uh, which are asked to people. And on the basis of those respondents, some new ideas are generated. One should always keep it in mind that you have to avoid complex questions in your feedbacks. You have to avoid the questions with only yes or no, except as probes. And the sequencing of the questions should be, uh, you know, done very, with a lot of consciousness. The conceptualization of Ideas should take place from the project ideas that you are generating and the feedback that you are getting. And of course, the strategy that you are using to interview your respondents should be generated very well. So, you know, 
whenever you are trying to come up with a new idea or you are trying to generate a new idea you have to make some initial considerations and what is meant by these initial considerations is that you know you have to first develop a perception about the project or a picture about the project that is going to be created so you know you always see what you believe and that is why feedbacks and considerations are so important because projects and project ideas cannot be just brought up by your beliefs you require some proofful knowledge out of it now just to prove that you always believe what you see and you see what you believe i have some slides to show you very interesting slides Can you count the black dots on the screen? It becomes almost impossible because you see an illusional flickering of black dots on the entire screen wherever the gray lines are joining on the black background. Can you just tell me how many legs this elephant has? Some might say. Four. Some might say five. Some might say six. Also, but does an elephant ever have six or four or eight legs? It always has four legs, right? But in this picture, it looks very different. What do you see in this picture? I think all of you know this personality. It this picture actually looks like that of President Clinton. of usa and his vice president gore right but it's not like that it's clinton's face pictured twice in two different haircuts and that is why i'm saying that you always see what you believe is the left circle bigger or is the central circle bigger which circle is bigger they both are of the same size on the left center also and on the right center also both the circles are of the same size it's just an illusion or your belief you might be finding the white circle on the left bigger than the right side white circle Oh, uh, try to keep staring at the black dot, and after a while, the grey haze around it will appear to shrink down. Another illusional effect. Now, I'm giving you two minutes to stare at the black dot and see if that illusional effect comes to you. It is coming to me, right? Now try to stare at the black light bulb for at least thirty seconds. I'm giving you a time of thirty seconds. Now immediately try to stare at the white area on the screen or a sheet of paper after staring at this black bulb. You must be seeing a glowing light bulb. Another illusionary effect. So could you please tell me whether the horizontal lines are parallel or do they slope? How many faces do you see in this picture? I can see three. Do you see three faces in this picture? What do you see in this picture? Do you see a face or an Eskimo who is trying to enter his cave? Uh, 
what do you see in this picture do you see a musician who's playing a saxophone or do you see a girl's face so you know why i was trying to take this exercise and show you these pictures the reason is to make you understand that most of us have the eye you know have the inclination towards only believing what uh, only seeing what we believe and that is why you know it impacts a lot in case of idea generation in project management the reason is that whenever you are you know actually trying to generate a idea you will only consider something as right or something as truthful when you believe that it is right and true and sometimes it also happens that a lot of cognitive dissonance is there or sometimes you know your ideas get influenced by someone else's ideas and that is something which becomes very harmful for projects so that is why whenever you are trying to come up with a project or a project idea you have to be very sure that you come up with a very precise idea irrespective of your beliefs and the idea should not only be beneficial to the organization but the society as a whole and only then that project idea can be actually considered as a good project idea to be worked upon so that is all from my side for today's session we have almost come to an end of today's session if you have any doubts or queries you may post in your comments in the comment boxes i would be really happy to answer to them and post this session we will be discussing the idea generation methods and methodologies in detail and idea screening processes in detail till then this is dr swati mishra from international school of business management at suresh gyan vihar university jaipur signing off thank you so much for attending this session have a nice day